would like to think our paths are straight Disconnected from choices we make There is no reason why it can't be like you said One day it's gonna happen I don't know when I'll be on your street But I know one day It's gonna happen You're gonna be Swept off your feet Smiles from King William Hospital. Um, could you please give us a call when you get this message? Thank you. Bye. They're ready for you. One last question, Mr. McGuire. Our firm expects a lot of its employees. In exchange for that commitment, we treat our staff as family. We believe that family becomes us and you and your career. How do those values stand with you? That's it for today. Remember, tomorrow we're rehearsing Christ's crucifixion. Yay. Thank you, Judas, for volunteering to collect the hymn sheets. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, why do you like dressing up as Jesus? <laughs> you, Noisy, you can help. Come, class. I don't think he's wearing any pants under his robe. <laughs> Why are you here? My nan comes here when she needs to speak to the man in the box. What do you need to speak to him about? Dunno. He don't lie very well. Okay. Ask me something else. Why is Judas always left to last? Easy. Because he was a grass. Ask if you don't believe me. Ask what? Do you really not wear pants under your robe? <laughs> your parents are waiting. Got to go. See ya. See you. What did you learn today, love? 
it. You all right in there? I'm fine. You sure you're meant to be out of bed? Probably not. What are you doing in there? I pissed myself, love. Do you want some help? I'll just wait out here for you then. You don't have to. I've finished. Oh. What's that for anyway? Oh, keeping you alive. Mm. Mm. Don't mm. drink it, will you? No. Just... I'll make you a cup of tea. Come on. I can't apologise enough for being late this morning. No, uh, Mr. McGuire. Why don't you start by telling us a bit about yourself? What's that for, dear? Nothing for you to worry about. Any pains in the night, just press the buzzer. Yes, dear. Inconsiderate bastard. He reminds me of your father. <laughs> I like the other nurse. Hmm. You'd like the other nurse. Really? Well, at least I'm looking for you. Girlfriend's not going to appear out of there, now is she? No, if I look hard enough, an old codger might appear for you. Show me, then. Cancerian. Mm-hmm. Single. That's you. Your chance of finding love improves when you bump into a nameless stranger. Remember to ask a name. Know anyone neighbours? I know someone that can't remember their own name. They're right about one thing though, dear. You did always have a problem finding out girls' names. What? You never ask. You always have to ask. Otherwise, they're nameless.
24. So is my grandson. Really? You'd like him. Would I? Are you caught in, dear? Sorry. Don't be too disappointed when people disappear from your life. They've done what they were meant to do for you and you them. I'm glad I like you. Why is that? Because you're the last person I'm going to see before I die, dear. Calling tomorrow, okay. Thank you for those words, Father. to something I taught you. Not servants. I know. Yes, dear. Do you remember what it was that made Mum think that Dad was the one for her? What's wrong, dear? Still waiting for a newspaper to tell you when you can fall in love. We'd all like a map that shows how far we have left to go, dear. Till then, it's the time in between you need to learn to enjoy. The moment I learn to enjoy myself, it's the moment I have to learn how to say goodbye to people, then. Scared to do that. Then learn to say hello. Stop looking so hard, dear. It's the one that gets you, and you never know when that's going to happen. There's something in the drawer for tomorrow. the way he said her name. Something as small as that.
because I saw you. <laughs> Those are beautiful flowers. Forget me not. They say the wearers are never forgotten by their lovers. Oh, hmm. That's a nice thing to say. Did you grow up around here, dear? All my life. I was born in this hospital. What's wrong? Nothing at all. <coughs> <coughs> Can you call my grandson for me? No. Um, this is Nurse Myers from King William Hospital. Um, could you please give us a call when you get this message? Thank you. Bye. They're ready for you. One last question, Mr. McGuire. Our firm expects a lot of its employees. And in exchange for that commitment, we treat our staff as family. How do those values stand with you? I believe it would be an honor to become part of that work ethics firm. Thank you for coming in again, Sam. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, are you the one whose grandma was ill? I hope she gets better soon. Mm. Thank God my nan doesn't remember who I am anymore. <laughs> Saves me visiting at the weekend. <laughs> Sorry, to go back to what you said. That was a great interview, Sam. I'm sure we'll see you again soon. No, to go back to what you said about family, I don't think I'd agree. What wouldn't you agree with, Mr. Maguire? I wouldn't agree that family is a word that you can bend the meaning of. I would agree that people who bend the meaning of words to suit themselves are assholes. And I'm sure I don't want to work for people who like being assholes. It's been a bad day. Your birthday? Yeah, today. Mine too. What? Nothing. So, is that your birthday suit then? I had one for you today. Did you get it? I don't think so. Serves you right. Well, if it's any consolation, I don't think working in an office would have suited you anyway. I don't, well... What sort of thing do you think would suit me, then? I don't know. Is 
yours? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, well, it was good to meet you. Yeah, you too. Sorry, I forgot to ask your name. I'm Lilia. I'm Sam. 